On that note, let's go. Fair, Mark. <laughs> Ned Tasmania. Old school, aren't you? Super Sprint, and it's uh, Friday action here, and uh, it's a handsome looking top three today. We've got Dave Reynolds, we've got James Golding, and we've got Jack LeBrock. And uh, Dave, that seemed like a busy practice session from where you were sitting. It was uh, 62 minutes of action from where you were today. 62 minutes? Yeah. Um, yeah, it was really busy for us. Like, we rolled out, had a bit of an engine misfire, so when I pluck six gear, it, the engine would just die. And so we spent probably 10 minutes, maybe... <coughs> Someone's happy. Um, we spent, I don't know, 10, 12, 15 minutes in the pits trying to fix that. They replaced the ACU and, and chucked me out, and it sort of fixed it. So, yeah, we had to miss a few of our runs, but that was all good because I rolled out and my car was on the pace. I reckon if you just push your microphone back a touch, you might get a bit of audio improvements there, Dave. Thank you, mate. Nothing wrong with mine. There we audio. go. Um, talk us through the, the little moment you had with Andre. Uh, you gave him a little tap when the red flag came out. Um, yeah, I was on, on, a, on a lap because we sort of went out of sync at the start and I was just doing my lap as normal and I put my lights, I forgot to put my lights on to start my lap to tell everyone I was on a fast lap and then I obviously put them on probably a little bit too late down the back straight and he was going into the pits and just a little bit of awkwardness and then as soon as I passed him, a red flag come out so it didn't really matter anyway. Sweet, fair enough. Um, just with yourself first, Mark and Fifth, just rip a start to the weekend, is it? Is it a tyre thing? We saw you guys were really quick in Darwin as well. Uh, yeah, Mark was fast then, so you know he was fifth, I was uh, quickest. So yeah, it could be a tyre thing. You know, I always had this theory that we were pretty good on the um, super soft tyre and sort of average on the soft on the on just the normal soft tyre. So you know, we'll, we'll see what happens when the weekend plans out. But you know, right now everyone's happy. Everyone put a lot of work in over the last few weeks, and you know, we, we need a good result because you know the last few rounds have been pretty dismal for us. Nice, mate. All right. Good luck tomorrow. We'll take Thank it over you. to uh, Jimmy G. Just uh, talk us through the day from from Yolan's perspective. It's funny, we were just talking about how Team 18 were fantastic in Darwin and uh, similar to you and Tim as well, coming out nice and fast today here. Is there any link there similar to what Dave was talking about? Um, yeah, I suppose the tyres is the only link you can really think of. But, yeah, we've been doing a lot of work uh, between races and probably going a bit down our own path Um also specific to each car uh, for what we want out of the car as well. So, yeah, it's, I don't think it's anything obvious, but, um, yeah, it's just starting to come together for us. So that's as simple as that. Did you get a chance to work through the entire program that you're hoping for in that hour? Yeah, pretty well. We actually probably ended up with a bit of extra time, so got through everything we wanted to and, and um, found a good gauge of where we need everything to sit, which is what we rolled out with at the end and seemed pretty strong. Mm hmm and for Jack, do you feel like today's a, a real form guide? I'm unsure exactly who got a chance to run tyres in that session and with another practice before we go into qualifying tomorrow, do you, do you feel like today's been a good form guide? Uh, I think so. I think um, today I, I assume most people ran greens because we had the hand and back at the end of today, so I'd be surprised if people didn't run them. Um, but, yeah, great day for us. I think um, we're, we're building on what we've, what we've been learning over the last few rounds. I think um, from down we sort of stumbled across something and sort of been heading down that path we kind of really need a test day it would be really handy that? right now oh I'll tell you later oh <laughs> 50 bucks um, but yeah no it's great the guys are doing a really good job and Tom and George and BK are all working together and trying a few few different things um, amongst both cars like probably similar to what Jimmy was saying with their cars and just trying to find yeah find a bit of speed but um, no great start to the, the weekend and We'll see what tomorrow brings. You seem to like this joint, don't you? you your last four qualifying sessions here, you've been on the front two rows. Yeah, it's because there's only three corners, so my brain can keep up. So uh, <laughs> yeah, the lo longer the tracks, the slower I go. <laughs> uh, good luck for Bathurst then in that case. Yeah. Um, all right, let's, uh, let's open it up to the journos. <laughs> Got to ask something. <laughs> uh, and, yeah, Jack, I mean, is there any instance of, like, you know, bringing some secrets across to Erebus. You know, obviously, it had been good to you and MSR the pr previous couple of years and come here straight away of Erebus and you're really on the pace. Um, no, the car's very, very different. So, yeah, it's polar opposite. I think they're, yeah, very, very different to, to what we ran last year. So, um, yeah, look, I suppose everyone's got their own little things, but, yeah, I think the car and everyone's stepped up this year, so I think everyone's gone searching further for, for what we need to make these cars go faster because everyone, every round's, yeah, making a step forward. So, um, yeah, we've just got to try and keep up and keep pressing on. And Dave, uh, you, you know, you talk about needing a result. Uh, you know, you started the year really strong at Bathurst. I mean, do you know where it's sort of gone a little bit wrong in the last few rounds? 
Um, yeah, we started the year pretty strong and, you know, we weren't the fastest car, but we were sort of there or thereabouts. And ever since then, we've sort of been playing around with the car probably a little bit too much and got lost. And um, now we're sort of back to a more standard sort of style set up for me, which has been has been working really well in the past. And obviously this track must suit our car and our setup. So the last couple of rounds we have been at hasn't, um, you know, especially the condition being super cold. You know, in the super cold condition, my car was a dog, but as soon as there was a bit of sun around, it was a little bit better. So, um, yeah, that's all I can so really I tell you. it's cold tomorrow. Well, knowing my luck, it's probably going to rain. <laughs> knowing my luck and how my life pans out, as soon as something goes good, <laughs> something goes bad. <laughs> uh, Dave, I know you like a good theory. Um, yeah. We've sort of seen... Theory. We've seen these... Um, you know, we've come off two rounds where... The Mustang's been really strong. Yeah. I think there was like one Mustang in the top 10 in 10th or whatever in that session. So yeah, is this a Camaro? What's the theory about this grouping? Like we haven't seen two cars from different manufacturers win on the same weekend all year. There tends to oh, be... Oh, really? There tends to be... That's it looks like there's, uh, <laughs> there's, there's, you know, strong tracks for one and the other. What's yep. what, Any theories as to what's going on? Um, well, Tim Edwards is not here this weekend, so maybe that's why the Ford's a bit slower. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> 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 no, just like I knew, I knew coming here that, you know, it was going to favour the Camaro. Um, my theory is might be slightly different to everyone else's, but, you know, the aero might... The Ford might have a little bit more aero, which means they might have a bit more drag, so the aero-dominated tracks they go better at, like last round. Uh, Townsville, that sort of stuff. Uh, this is a slippery track and it kind of suits us and so far I'm right. <laughs> well, this is only practice. We don't know who's run what tyres and whatnot, but, you know, our category, we try and make everything the same where I don't think that's going to be ever possible. You know, you can't, you can't make two engines perform the same and two shapes perform the same. There's always going to be slight differences and when you make everything else the same, it's going to highlight the differences and that's why we see... You know, one camp happy, one track, and then on the, on this track, we'll be happy for maybe this track. That's just my theory. I'm probably wrong. We'll find out um, on Sunday. Does that answer your question? It was great. Thanks, Payne. Um, I know that uh, a, lot of bit, a lot of people will be talking about formats towards the end of the year and this is the last of our sprint races. So just, Dave, your thoughts on getting a chunky practice session in today? Uh, yeah, I really like the long sessions. Um, in our sport, we don't have a lot, of, a lot of time to go testing. So, you know, what we test at the track matters. You know, we test at Winton, we go, oh, we're going to win the next race and then we go to the next race and we're dog slow. So whatever works at Winton seemed it doesn't work anywhere else. So I like the amount of testing. I like the longer sessions at the Pacific tracks we race we race at. So, you know, you can get through a bit more, a, a, a more rifle changes, understand them more, back to back them. Um, you know, when we do these 20 minute practice sessions, it's in and out, it's crazy. You, you don't have anything, you don't have any time to validate and you heavily rely on the data. Um, so I really like these sessions where you can take something out, try it again, put it back in, try it again. And it gives you a bit more time, it's a bit more relaxed. What's the weather going to do tomorrow, Dave? Sorry? What's the weather going to do tomorrow? Uh, like I said, it's probably going to rain, no, my luck, because my car's fast in the dry. All right. Well, hopefully for you it doesn't, but uh, we'll yeah, wait and see what we not. get. Anyone else from the room? Short shop one today. Thank you, guys. And good luck Beautiful. tomorrow. Thank you.